as parents and caregivers, we need to stop making body-based comments. <laughs> we just <laughs> say that flat out. So think of any even comments to each other. Oh, so-and-so's voice has changed or, oh, so-and-so is getting so tall. It's not necessary to make that kind of appearance-based or body-based comment. Mm -hmm. I other. think even when it's a compliment or when it's well-intentioned, oh, yeah. it can still be damaging because you don't know how that teen is feeling about their body. You don't know also what they're, what they're doing. I mean, maybe they're developing eating disorder um, types of behaviors and then it, that might be going unnoticed. And then somebody's making a comment that they perceive as like a well-intentioned compliment. And then it's sort of reinforcing sometimes really unhealthy habits. And so I think, like you said, even compliments can be damaging and it's best just, just to kind of stop commenting entirely on people's bodies and focus yeah. more on things that they're doing well or, or, you know, positive characteristics that they have about their personality, or there's so many other things to compliment someone on mm -hmm. than what their body looks like. Well, yeah. We really are trying to encourage self-worth as being something that is not conditional and has to, you know, fully linked to our appearance. And I think that's the thing that it's hard and it's hard for parents to do, especially because parents have their own insecurities and they look in the mirror and have their own critical thoughts and statements that they say to themselves in front of their kids, not, not purposefully or intentionally, but that's something too, that as parents and just adults, we need to be more mindful of is how we talk about ourselves and our bodies and other people's bodies.